Hola, I'm Shannon Anderson. I'm a children's book author and teacher. And today I'm going to be giving you another Spanish lesson. And today's lesson is on food. So I wore my Taco Sora shirt today. So we're going to be talking about all different kinds of foods. And I'm going to start out with fruits. Okay, so if you wanted to say fruit, it's fruta. Everyone try that. Fruta. All right, so let's start with, this is a fun one. So if you have grapes, they're called uvas, uvas. And a banana, just got this out of my kitchen, is el platano, platano. See, I have an apple that's sliced up here. An apple is manzana. It's helpful if you repeat these after me, it'll help you learn how to say them correctly. So an orange is naranja. See, oh, I have a little basket of strawberries. Strawberries are fresas, fresas. I think that's all the fruits that I have here. Let's move on to vegetables or vegetales. So let's see, we have some lettuce. So that's lechuga and corn, a little mini corn on the cob, maize, maize. I have peas. These are guisantes. Guisantes. And let's see. Beans are frijoles. Frijoles. Oh, this is a hard one. Okay, so we've got some carrots here, baby carrots. Zanahorias. Zanahorias. And oh, I missed one of our fruits. Limon. That's pretty easy, right? Sounds like lemon. Okay, and we could do, um, so you know the orange fruit is naranja. So if you have juice from an orange, you have jugo de naranja. So orange juice. And while we're on drinks, oh, I didn't bring my water bottle in here. Water is agua. You might may have heard that one before. But milk is leche. Leche. Let's see, I have some meats. So we have chicken. This is pollo. Bacon. Tocino. We have some ham. Jamón. And if we crack an egg, huevo. Huevo. And last I have hamburguesa. A hamburger, hamburguesa. And on that hamburger, we have cheese, which is queso, and then the hamburguesa, the meat, the carne. And then the bun part, the bread, is called pan. And I have some other pan over here. Do you like white pan or wheat pan? Okay. So those are the names of the different kinds of foods that I have gathered here around me. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a plate that could be breakfast food. So let's make breakfast. So I don't know what you like for breakfast, but a pretty common breakfast would be something like some eggs, some huevos. And then maybe we could have some bacon, tocino, and then maybe we'll be really healthy and we'll also have some apple slices with it. So, and then I'll have some jugo de naranja, some orange juice. So I have jugo de naranja and then tocino, manzanas, y, and huevos, eggs. So that would be a yummy breakfast. And now let's go ahead and do a lunch. So if I wanted to, I could do, let's see, where did he go? I could do a salad, ensalada, where I'd have a lot of lechuga, lettuce, and I could put my carrots and tomates, tomatoes on there. Add all kinds of things. There's my tomato, tomate, right? I could have ensalada. 
I could even put some chicken on there, some pollo. Um, if I wanted to, I could make a BLT, right? B-L-T, if you've done the alphabet video. So let's say we take some pan, some bread. I'll actually use the wheat pan so it looks like it's toast. So we have the toast and we have tocino. We like lots of tocino. And we have lechuga and tomate. And so now we have a BLT sandwich, a sandwich. And so this would be B L D B L T, right? Okay, so let's have a nice healthy dinner. So for dinner, maybe I'm going to have some pollo and guisantes, zanahorias, e and Maize, some corn, so lots of veggies. And maybe I will also have some pan, some bread to go with that. And if I wanted to, to have something sweet afterward, I could have some fresas, strawberries, or something I didn't go over with you would be postres. Postres are desserts. So you could have a galleta, a cookie, or you could have pastel, cake. Oh, or my favorite, helado, ice cream. So I know I went through these very quickly and you can watch this video as many times as you want. The best way to practice this is actually at meal times to say things using the food words in Spanish. Like you could say, could I have some more leche? which is milk. And you can practice these words with your family and it will help them learn the words too. If you ever go to a Mexican restaurant, I love to practice my Spanish when I'm at a Mexican restaurant. Of course, taco and burrito are taco and burrito. But if you wanted to ask for something in Spanish, you could do that. Or if you ask for something to drink, like you want a glass of water, you could ask for agua, right? So lots of practice is how you learn another language. So practicing every day. Another thing that I recommend is there's an app called Duolingo. And I love going on there to get a daily practice of my Spanish so that I can remember it. Because if you don't use it, you lose it. Well, I hope you enjoyed this um, Spanish lesson on the foods, and I hope that you'll check out some of the other little Spanish lessons, and I hope to see you on another video. Adios!